UCL Partners AHSC is a concentration of elite hospitals uh, and world-class universities that is dedicated to the advancement of new treatments, diagnostics and prevention strategies for the benefit of the population. The AHSC was established in 2009 to fulfil a particular purpose. That purpose was to improve the health of the population that we serve by harnessing academic excellence. Experimental medicine in our HSC has its core in six academic medical centres. Three already established, Great Ormond Street, Moorfields, Queen Square. One partly established in immunology, infection and immunity. Two to come in cancer and cardiovascular. UCL Partners has really helped the Eyes and Vision programme because of the coherence that it brings linking what we're doing with other programs and also bringing in opportunities on a larger scale, for instance, in the development of Open Eyes, our open source program. Open Eyes provides enormous opportunities, but most of all, the ability to really capitalize on the advantages of having a comprehensive NHS system. To take the information that's gathered from every patient and use it for the benefit of every patient. So the AHSC has allowed us to create a, a large public engagement footprint. Uh, we've partnered with various patient organizations, people with MS, and we've won several Wellcome Trust awards for our public engagement in science program. The AHSC provides us with the academic and clinical strengths of our partner NHS organizations and UCL and QMUL. For example, in the area of cell and gene therapy, we are leading in Europe and we are leading by bringing uh, together the NHS and the academic strengths of UCL partners. So the cancer program has enabled the creation of London Cancer, an integrated cancer system. This has allowed us to bring together all the experts in the system by tumour type to really aim for world-class care, research and education for patients with those diseases. The AHSC for us has given us the unique opportunity to create a new unit that covers cardiovascular disease prevention and outcomes and studies patients not just in the hospital phase and the clinical phase of their disease but from primary care right the way through to disease development. UCL Partners as an AHSC is rolling out a number of root cause analysis for patients with strokes to really drill down and identify the main causes so that we can prevent it happening in many, many patients. This will help not only patients preventing them have strokes by identifying risk factors and lifestyle things that can be changed, but also large populations of people who've never had an event to begin with. UCL Partners has transformed the process for getting NHS permissions to open clinical trials across all the sites in our geography. A process that sometimes took up to a year has now been reduced to just six days. The benefits to investigators are that they have many more months to recruit to studies, to sponsors, the benefits are reduced costs and much higher efficiency, and for patients, they get much earlier access to new drugs and therapies that otherwise are unavailable in the NHS. So UCL Partners uh, now uh, is responsible for virtually all postgraduate medical and dental education in North Central and North East London. And it's achieved this uh, through a contractual arrangement, first with the London Deanery and more recently with the Local Education and Training Board. So this has allowed us to uh, align those training programmes very closely uh, with the UCL Partners academic programmes and with other areas of activity undertaken by UCL Partners. Because of the geographical and social area that UCL Partners covers, it means that the um, academic and service work that we do is applicable to a wide range of the population, which means that it's nationally generalisable. The strengths of the HSC I see as threefold. Firstly, strong collaboration between academia and health in six core areas. Second, a culture of partnership working. And third, a very strong informatics platform. An important cross-cutting theme in this AHSC is the life course. And we know that health in childhood is extremely important to health in adulthood. And so including a child health programme enables us to maximise the potential to study the life course through this AHSC. The Bloomsbury Research Institute uh, will focus on infectious diseases, which will continue to uh, you know, 
be a major problem in public health and we will concentrate on the development of new tools such as new antibiotics because some infections are becoming untreatable and also new vaccines and understanding how pathogens cause disease. The HSC has two principal objectives, to improve health and also to create wealth. The focus on health has been there right from the beginning since 2009, but we now recognise the important role that AHSCs can play in improving the economic growth of the UK. The strengths of the AHSE partnership lie in the integration of informatics for patient and population benefit across whole populations, across whole healthcare systems, primary and secondary care, and across the whole translational cycle, from discovery through trials to outcomes research and public health. So one of the great things about this AHSC is it's grounded on phenomenal infrastructure provided by our biomedical research centres and our biomedical research units bring together their world-class science and the research infrastructure and the patients attending our hospitals, we have a tremendous opportunity to tackle very fundamental questions over the next five years. The strength of the UCL partners as an AHSC, I have no doubt at all, is its values. And its values uh, are about uh, facilitating relationships, providing support, encouraging people uh, to be creative and then linking them to the people who can help them achieve their own ambitions.